the year is 2047 and when you look up at the sky like that there you think the world was still a beautiful place but it ain't brother man ruined it fucked up his own home killed himself off and the rest of us left behind just scurry around down here either dying or learning how to kick ass surprise dickhead <laughs> There's a few more on the other side. You get the top, I'll get the bottom. Cool. Oh God, she kind of reminds me of Pickles. How the hell she looked like Pickles to you, brother? No, Pickles was that thing I cut in half back in the field. Why'd she attack that guy and us too? She's not with them. If she's not with them, who's she with? And where are they? And why are they? And why are we still standing here? Well, buddy, judging by the way she came at us, if there's any more of them around here, they'd be all over us by now. Do you think she and that uh, Pickles guy were sick with something? I said we just burn her ass to be done with it. <laughs> I like that. Whatever we're gonna do, we need to go ahead and do it. I mean, I think I think we're cool to set up here if we want to. Yeah. You want to set up camp here? Yeah, we should be fine. We just killed all the things that would have fucked with us. That's a good thing. All right. No, 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 no. Here's where it gets good. So Jay pulls his pants down doing the getting ready to take a pee dance. When all of a sudden this bear comes charging out of the house at Tell, tell the story right, tell the story right. This is my story, sit there and eat your corn. Black bear, brown bear. Brown. Brown. So, anyway, so, the bear. Big bear, little bear. <laughs> big bear. Big bear. <laughs> so big, anyway, big bear. Jay stands up and says. Fuck this. So he climb up this tree and this bear, Get so close to his feet. I mean, it almost took his foot off. You say big bear. Are we talking what? Three, four hundred pounds? Five hundred pounds. Dude, let her tell the story. Fuck. So anyway, so we're up and on this branch, right, for probably thirty seconds, and Jay stands up on the branch and says, "Fuck this." And then starts pissing all over the bear's <laughs> face. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. And so the bear, he just, you know, he takes it for a moment. And then he starts shaking and freaking out. I just kept pissing on him. He did. <laughs> he did. What can I say? I had to go. <laughs> so anyway, he's shaking his head. Mind you, piss is flying everywhere while he's doing this. Nice. Oh my god, it was so <laughs> funny. Anyway, so the bear you know, decides to walk away. And mind you, the whole time he's sitting there shaking his head and freaking out. We were surviving on hot sauce coffee and cabbage for three days straight. That bear didn't stand a fucking chance. <laughs> <laughs> Samurai, we carry condition. Don't give me that shit. Look at him. Why is he over there shaking like he's having a seizure? I'm okay. Like hell you are. 
Well, help me. He's fine. Just give him a couple of minutes. Oh, is that why his ear's bleeding? I'm all right, I promise. What's the bell? It's complicated. Who was that? That was Master Ace Dizzle. How? I way do not understand what's happening here. We have to go to Virginia. We have to go to Virginia. We're going to Kansas. I remember, these good people there. Look, if we don't go to Ace Dizzle's side right now, there's not going to be any point in going to Kansas. <coughs> Gnarly. What? You've heard him. Now go to them and kill them all. Bring me the head of the Afro in his room. Go now, child. You have many miles ahead of you. It's time to move. It's time to move. Found the Afro? What about the bird? I'm sure she's with him. Where? Southwest, a few days. Cool. You good? Yep. Trouble. Tie that bitch off and forget our stuff. We're rolling out. I suspect round about now you're wondering what the hell's going on, and brother, you wouldn't be the only one. I'd heard a voice in my head, something unlike I'd never heard before. I followed Jacques without question. Beck and Jay, they just kind of followed. Good and evil are very definite things here in the post-apocalyptic world. You go toward the good. Now traveling, that's another thing. We had 54 miles to cover in about two days. You stay away from the main roads and away from populated areas. People are savage and godless and very desperate. And with the addition of this new sickness, the people turning blue and becoming, well, hell, more inhuman than anything I'd ever seen before made us all a little edgy. I guess we all went to Virginia with hopes of some solution. Seems like Jock knew more than he was letting on. What's the needle, Jock? Well, 15 years ago, it was a training camp from Master Ace, but I don't think anybody's been here since. Why do they call it the needles? Beats the hell out of me. I asked that once, I got shut the fuck up. Do your cottage, Jock. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> don't ask questions. You don't ask Master Ace shit. Break this shit down again, son. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, sunshine, let's get a move on. I miss my tractor. We all miss your tractor. I got next. No, I got next. Fuck that. I know Bullshit. where we're going. I've I know got where we're going. next. You wrote it before she did. The one thing I did understand was the fear in Master Ace's voice when he spoke of the bell as it thundered off inside my head. At that moment I could feel a crack. I could feel the presence of God and the devil on the earth. I could see the bell in the center of my mind. I knew there were others out there that could too, both good and evil. And I got a horrible suspicion that maybe this moment, this time, was when God and the devil would square it all off. There weren't many of us left on this planet, but my biblical learning had me thinking that we'd all have a part to play before it was all said and done. I was also nervous about meeting Master Ace, and, well, Jacques' confidence a little trot around self was just kind of pissing me off. I was on pins and needles the whole trip. There's somebody out there. Hold up, hold up. Somebody's getting a potato up their ass. Jacques, where are they? You can ready down. We're here.
Come home, nigga. Where is everybody? Dead. Or running west. Well, damn. Where's the love? You didn't tell me they was all white. After the introductions, we were fed. It had been a long time since we'd sat down at a table with other people and eaten dinner. We all ate like a bunch of pigs, but the food was warm and it was good. The company was nice and the afternoon was pleasant. It had been a while since we'd been able to relax. Damn, pumpkin boy. This part is a shit. This means he likes it. Oh! So you've been traveling for a few days now. And you really want to know what that bell is. Oh, yeah. That is why we had to come up here and get you and why I keep hearing voices in my head or why how, how I can for that matter. Why we keep seeing blue people all over the place and mm, my two personal favorites. The whole uh, end of the world thing because, you know, I'm all like, what's that all about? Because it's pretty much over. You know, why uh, Judgment Left is here, but if you want to go on about the bell, that'd be great. I mean, not to be a smart ass or nothing. See, when the world ended, that was man's world. See, the bell signifies the coming of evil to take its turn. So a bell's like a symbol for something. Oh, no, it's real. And so is the motherfucker ringing it. So who's the motherfucker ringing it, then? Not to be a smart ass or nothing. It's time for the good to go to God and receive their assignments. God? What God? Where do you find God in this equation? Where was God when my whole hometown died from Flu 117? Where was he when billions died from war and starvation and disease? What kind of shit are you talking? The only shit we're talking about. Come on! God is coming. Bullshit! Jay! No! We are way off track! We are hundreds of miles from Kansas and for what? A condition of the samurai? A revival by a geriatric hip-hop train wreck at a fucking pumpkin mill? Or whatever the hell you want to call this freaky fucking place we're standing in. No, the pie is fucking fantastic. Well then, uh, you might want to cut down on your cousin right there. I know you're still in demons, player. The demons. Yeah, he means that pickles dude and the blue chick we killed back coming in. How are they demons? See, when the evil at heart hears the bell, the soul is a fraction. And just beyond what you refuse to understand, there lies darkness waiting to rush in to fill these evil souls with demons. So on one thing. Do you know what that one thing is, Jake? That right there is called an elemental power. It's uh, the last thing I needed to see to convince my ass. Oh, but I didn't mean to steal focus. Demons rushing into evil souls been on one thing. Do you know what that one thing is, Jay? Anything of God's. That means you too. John Cusack. How about some nice cool water? Do you think that was enough information? Yeah, a little worn out from that trip. So I hit him with that information, little by little. We don't have time for little by little, you old fart. Bitch, don't make me hit you with this cane. Look, I'm just saying, the bell's gonna be here soon and we need to be ready to go, all of us. I know it, baby. I know it. Damn. Y'all, come on. Boy, what are you doing? What? I saw you looking at her titties. I was just looking. There's a woman out there, a creature, servant to the devil, sent to this earth to clean his plane for conquer. Master Ace dropped that bomb on us about dinner time. We spent the rest of the evening packing and having a few drinks, trying to relax. We're going to roll out in the morning. Apparently this bitch was on the way with the bell to conquer all. Is he good? What? The samurai. Is he good? He's mean as shit. I'll give him that. 
Does he know the way? He knows everything on your DVD series. I mean, shit, he knows it by heart. He quotes stuff from you I've never heard. Yeah, well, a lot of that is bullshit. Yeah, well, he doesn't think so. Have you been practicing with him? Yeah, for several hours a day. And how was his form? He's on it. I mean, it's a bit unorthodox. Kind of fights like a cornered raccoon. And his emotions? Those are nowhere near under control. Yeah, well, we'll need to work on that. Yeah. Well, the others have been practicing, too. <laughs> Actually, Becca has better form than Jay. Really? Yeah, I mean, he's an alright guy, though. Yeah, I bet. No, really. I mean, I know he's a hothead, but, uh, the guy can fix anything on this planet, except for transmissions. But he's a good guy to have on your side. He'll come around. He already has. He just won't admit it yet. The morning was beautiful. Now, you wouldn't have been able to tell that Satan was out to conquer the planet, and I'm quite serious. Turns out, Master Ace had a pickup truck, so with that pickup truck and two mopeds, we had a pickup truck and two mopeds. We were comfortable. I mean, we were on edge, but we were comfortable. But when you're comfortable, that's when things usually fuck up in the post-apocalyptic world, and uh, that morning was no exception. We soon realized just how close the queen was to us, and why. We're looking for the one with the afro. You mean me? Tell me where he is, bitch! Cousin. Now tell me from your knees. Oh, oh snap! Dude, this place has got some serious muffin. That girl with the tattoos don't quit looking at me, boy. Oh. Pipe down, bitch. <laughs> Shit. I wonder, uh, wonder how many of them he's actually hitting. You know. Master Ace, will you please teach me the way of the samurai? Oh, you know I will, baby. Just uh, come over here and take your clothes <laughs> off and <laughs> come bring my nappy ass here. That's right, girl. Get over here and talk about some of that. Height. <laughs> taking the TV, not taking the television. Don't tell me what to do. Man, there's no way to plug this thing up. It's too heavy. It's not even a real fucking television. Well, fuck. What was on your mind? What are you thinking? Ah. Okay, we just have fun with it. Yeah. 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 Woo. Woo -hoo. Yeah. Hey, drop your weapon. Where is Afro and his bird? I said drop your weapons now, asshole! I will kill every one of you motherfuckers! Where is Afro and his bird? Pump it, boy! <laughs> Pull your shit, but don't move until I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm not gonna risk this with you. What the fuck do you want here? I stabbed him right in the back. Yeah, I did it. It was uncool. I interrupted their duel. I know it. I guess it was real on Samurai. What? I didn't care. Man, fuck that guy. That guy was an asshole. other motherfuckers for the animals. We're having an hour. <laughs> what is your name? Just Donna. Would you like some water, Donna? She comes with us. We helped our new friends bury their old friends, and I had several questions yet, like how a little tiny girl with a little skinny sword could stab somebody and turn them from a demon back into a human with light coming out of them all over the place, but I just kind of let it go. We loaded up, headed west for Elm Mills, Kansas, trying to find sanctuary. We knew now that bitch was on us for real. It wasn't just a dream anymore. You remember how I said I thought we were all going to play a part in the end of this world? Well, suddenly that shit didn't feel like fiction, brother. Child, return to me, for now you are fully mine. 